Guys, we are here in Naples. Today it's street food day in Naples and it's so good. Gigi, what are we gonna do today? What are we gonna do? We're gonna have a lot of food, a lot of so, and we're gonna have a lot of happiness. You can <laughs> oh, yes. see on his face. So we're starting for breakfast, morning snack, lunch, dinner as well. Everything. Yeah. So come on, let's start. So Gigi, it's time to start a street food tour yeah, yeah. in Napoli. We're eating a sfogliatella, which is uh, one of the ancient, most ancient Neapolitan pastry. And then I think baba, baba yeah. would be a good start as well. You know, it's, I'm ready for baba. This is the original baba. Oh. It's not full of alcohol. No. It's something completely <laughs> different. This is a light breakfast for us. Yeah. How much did you pay? I paid 16 euro, so we're talking about what, well, 17, 16 American dollars? Look at me, sfogliatelle we have, the baba, and see how they separate the baba to the rest of the sweets. So this is the classic sfogliatella, and it's the crunchy one. Yes. What are we expecting There's from a, this? What, what's inside? Ricotta oh. cheese. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, now you can see what's inside. <laughs> ricotta this cheese. Ricotta cheese, and then some canditi. Let's have it, come on. Enjoy. Wow. I, th I wow. think so. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. If you like salty breakfast, forget about it. <laughs> what is this one about, Gigio? Baba, baba. Uh, it's spongy, it's super tasty. It's like a sponge, yes. sweet, it's a sponge yes. cake, emerged in rum. rum. It's rum and caramel. But you can have it for breakfast. You don't get drunk if you eat this. Uh, <laughs> it depends on much. <laughs> Mm. It's so moist. Mm. It's full of flavors. Look at the inside. How bubbly it is. I think we need to see Baba on every pastry shop around the world. Do you agree? I think so. It's, I a, think so. it's a must. Right now we are on the street having coffee on the street, but this is a special coffee. This is the Napolitan. This is Napolitan coffee, infusion coffee, no pressure. This is the original Napolitan coffee. Yeah. The original. First element, half water. Very important. Right. Second element, filter coffee. More coffee, coffee strong. Less coffee, no coffee. Third element, no pressure coffee. Close. If you see Don Cafe on the street, you know you have to stop. Say ciao Giuseppe or Don Cafe. Don Cafe. <laughs> Don Cafe. And have an experience. To be honest, in Naples, you don't go wrong with coffee. Everywhere you go, you have a good coffee. But this is a very unique, different coffee. Gustimoto Bridge, the Tazzi Cafe Parite, sotto te ne do zucchero, ma la coppa amara si, ma hai tanta caccia avuta e tanta caccia gira, o duci sotto la tazza e fine in mucca, ma da arriva. Perdonatemi, se non ho capito il napoletano, mix sugar. Understand? Please. Il <laughs> magico caffè napoletano. So Gigio, where are we now? What is this place? Ragù del Tan, which is a place where you can have the authentic Neapolitan ragù, which is different from ragù made in other parts of the world. Like the Bolognese. Yeah, Bolognese. no, it's yes. different, it's different. They gave us this half loaf stuffed with some Neapolitan ragù, but here there's something special. Who is that? Parmigiana. Oh, can you believe? Eggplant parmigiana in a panino. This is incredible. And this is a morning snack. Mm. How can you recreate these at home? Mm. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> and I'm glad I'm here today. You can make a recipe for this bread. È un pane che viene farcito con tutto quello che di buono avete in casa. In questo caso il ragù e qui invece la parmigiana di melanzane. È un pane molto molto povero, cioè nel senso l'idea è proprio quello di recuperare un pane che ormai c'è una mollica stantia 
e mettete magari degli elementi umidi all'interno, tipo il ragù, che te lo vanno a rendere un'altra volta succoso. This is fresh, this is fresh made, 100% because it's super crunchy, it's different from oh, il pane sereniccio. Oh my god! Oh, wow! This is heaven! So we are in a, a classic uh, old school Neapolitan grocery store, okay? Small but full of quality. And I'm here to get the buffalo mozzarella because it's mozzarella o'clock. Allora, questo negozio qua ce l'abbiamo da oltre 50 anni. Questo qua è una nostra mozzarella di bufala, 80% di latte di bufala, campana, e il top. E ne spetti in English? Sì, yeah, so this is no problem. Oh, so creamy. Also creamy. Wow. This, the very, very old. I don't like cream. Wow, wow. yeah. Look at that. Look at it, look I want clean. to buy the instrument to cut the burrata. Yes. All this, Delicious. pepper black, a pepper, an extra love. Thank yeah. you, mister. Bye Thank bye. You. Thank you. Gigi, this is the classic handmade buffalo mozzarella. buffalo mozzarella, which is not meant to be creamy. No, 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 no. This is the, the texture. This is the way it should look like. This one instead is creamy. The, ba the burrata. Yeah, mm. It contains cream. The moist. The lemon on the burrata and this is the best. Oh, the best thing to do. I need to find a way to bring this to Australia. This is a taralleria napoletana. They make taralli, that's what they do. It's a laboratory of taralli. So Gigio, where did you take me? This is a place where you can find taralli, which is another typical kind of Neapolitan snack. So there's not a taralli from Puglia, these are taralli no, no. napoletani. They have almonds, uh, a lot of pepper. Okay. Sure. Yeah, and uh, yeah, pork fat. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, yeah, I like that rich flavor of pork fat. Really, really rich. Yeah, really yeah. Rich. They have different flavors for taralli. The problem is, which one do we pick? Uh, I'd say to start with the original. Come on, all of them, please. So you can have savory, you can have sweet. So let's say you can have sweet after a meal. You can have a, the full experience. Full experience. Yeah. 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 You generally bring some beers and taralli. Beers, yes. okay. This is the perfect match. No. Aha, beautiful. This is the cheesy tarallo. So cheesy. Mm. Mm. I'm just loving the situation here, Gigi. Yeah, this is Naples. This is Naples. Wow, guys, look. Wow. It's amazing, you see? Amazing. This is the place where historically they build um, nativities, uh, these miniatures. You can see they, they made famous persons. People. Of course, uh, Napoleon. Yeah, no, no, yeah no, football okay, players play. and uh, Freddie Mercury. There's so much life here. Yeah, you yeah. know, something that I missed, yeah. you know, living overseas, you know? The, the, the smell of the food, the energy of people, Absolutely. the music, the vibe. Yeah. How can we be away from this? I don't know, I don't know. All these artisans make the presepe, the, 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 nativity. the nativity scene. And Napolitan people come here before Christmas to buy all these nativity scenes. People are very proud of traditions here, which is so beautiful. Where are we now, Gigi? This is a place where you can buy coppo. Yes. Coppo is a cup. <laughs> Something fried. Yeah, it's like in England you get fish and chips. Yes. Here in Naples we get coppo. Yeah, yeah. We're getting the fish and chips from Naples. And you eat it on the street while you walk. This is coppo. Coppo yes. literally means cup. And it's full of fried uh, fish in this case. And you know, this is kind of poor fish. It's a cheap fish, but it's really tasty. Uh, really tasty. Yeah. Mm. Let's go around Naples and eat fish, fried fish. Ah. They don't sell this one because it's too small mm. to be sold. And so this is Paranza, actually. So the leftover comes yeah. to a place like yes. this. Yeah. Thanks to the fish market, we can enjoy this on the street in Naples. 
and this is one of the best, best food ever. It is. Good job. You can fry anything and it tastes good. But when the fish is so full of flavors and fried, Here we have the show show, the man that you want to see when you come to Naples. He brings luck to your life, okay? He does the malocchio so that you are, you don't have bad things happening to you. Please, show okay. show, help me. Show 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 it. Yes, Martin, e malo lingua a schiattare l'invidia e gelosia deve morire. Ci va male su signore deve andare nel bidone, quello là del lumido. Occhio, malocchio, che c'è male e finocchio. Aglio, fravaglio, fattura che non quaglio. Corna e bicorna, capalice e caparaglio. Riaurilla, riaurilla, esce fuori a su tutto il Sarà la finestra, si apre il balcone, esce male, entra bene. Ci vuole male casa tua, deve crepare e schiattare. Dici ciò su cioè. Ciò su cioè. E ci va te, ne va a fa bocca pace, saluti, amore, felicità, fortuna e soldi. Una botta di fortuna davanti e una botta di fortuna dietro. Ok? Due, andiamo, vai. E ci va te, ciò. Grazie, grazie mille. The attention to detail you can find here is mind-blowing. You see, they are checking the temperature, they are ensuring that the oil is clean. Look how clean the oil is. But they are so, you know... Like perfectionist. Perfect. Yeah, perfectionist. Red pizza is another kind of traditional pizza. There are the same ingredients, yes. but stuffed in a different way. Yeah. So, uh, this is stretched differently. And, uh, and the fact that it's fried gives a different flavor. Of course. Yeah. So thin, so it is light, to yeah. be honest. You can see there are some ricotta cheese, tomato, and uh, pork fat, oh, wow. and pepper, pepper yeah. as well. This is completely different from calzone. It's another thing. Yeah, that's why everyone is happy. This is the secret, the food. Happiness, guys, buon appetito. Appetito. So what are we now, Gigio? Oh. So much vibe here in Naples. Pizza al portafoglio. It's a miniature okay. of a margarita pizza. Why do you make pizza folded? Why, what was the story behind this pizza? Because you can eat while you, you walk around. Right. That's the reason. This pizza was actually delivered on the street. So uh, women, women used to, to bring pizzas inside a, a box, like, you know, the food delivery. On like the domino guys. Yeah, the domino guys. But they were putting this on the heads. In order to make this pizza, they used the old dough, the dough from the day before. So the leftovers. The, yes. The, that nobody wants. Yes. And that's why it costs less. And actually it tastes probably better. 100%. <laughs> I don't know why on the streets of New York, instead of finding hot dogs, you don't find this. I mean, why? I want to know why. It must be a reason. Because we must be crazy for not having this. Simplicia is best, it's right here in my hands. Bellissimo, bellissimo. You know the reason why they play music? Yeah. It's just to allow us to burn calories after three or four pizzas. So you're telling me that I, I eat pizza, yeah. I work so hard to put happiness in my belly, yeah. and you want me to burn it off? No way! Dove siamo, Gigio? Where are we, Gigio? Where is this place? Tribunale. This is Di Matteo. This yes. is an historical place. This is the, actually the place where Bill Clinton, former US president, yes. stopped just to have a pizza. This is frittatina, and actually it's they invented frittata. this one. Uh, so what you have to do is cooking pasta and then mixing with some uh, peas, um, meat in some, some cases, or ham. Cheese. Uh, cheese, of course, and then besciamella. At the end, when you have the, the dough, let's yes. call it dough, uh, you actually use pastella and then you fry. <laughs> it's really good. And inside, it's so really creamy, good. so creamy. David yeah. Guiz is the winner of the day. Wow. What's your favorite dish for today? 
pizza portafoglio. Pizza portafoglio. Look, look at him. He's so happy. So, can you believe that a food can make a person so happy? The best part is I said to him, I can't eat anymore. I'm full. I don't want it. You know what? I'm going to get another one and I'm going to eat it right now. Thank you, Gigio. Oh, I love you, Gigio. I love you. <laughs> Gigio, here is my other frittatina. What can I say? Thank you for Welcome. showing me this beautiful street food in Naples. And I believe there is more. So we need to do another video. I think so, I think huh? so. Yeah, because there's a second part, I think. <laughs> no, I think. We have missed something. Can you please subscribe to Gigio Atanasio's channel? Learn more about Napolitan culture, especially pizzas. And if you can, come to Naples and enjoy what we did today. <laughs> I can tell you, I can't stop laughing. I can tell you, you will be the happiest person on the planet. I'm going to eat frittadina. Gigio, you can keep talking, I'm going. Ciao Gigio, I'm... Where you going? Ah, I'm going, I'm, I have to go. Ciao. He became Napolitan. Hey Vincenzo, where are you going? No, I have to go and eat, ciao, ciao.